right y'all so i'm about to try this method and put it in a microwave for 10 seconds i did lay a napkin down in the um, microwave because i know it's slightly unsanitary so if this method does work i'm gonna probably buy like a whole separate microwave like a little cheap one just to get the job done but i'm a little scared i watched a few videos so we just gonna see how this happens 10 seconds i believe 10 seconds let's go so this is the wig i put it in a ponytail I put it in there on a napkin. Jesus Christ, I might have to clean this microwave out because I don't want it to smell like chemicals. We gotta use that. All right, y'all, 10 seconds. smoking right now it's i don't know if y'all can see it it's smoking like it's steaming a little bit so this is what the knots look like they do look a bit bleached i'm really trying to hmm, i'm so scared because i don't want to have to put it back in there and reapply it so let me let me see what's going on real quick all right so this is how it came out as you can see the knots are bleached let me zoom in so the knots are bleached there is still a few dark knots but it's very doable and it clearly worked um as you can see and i actually wound up putting in there for an additional 10 seconds but i stopped it at two because i was getting nervous also if you're going to do this method make sure you cut out all the cones and if need be just sew the cone back on because the cones are still made up of a material that can literally spark a flame in the microwave so please be careful and do not blow your house up this side was a little bit over bleached this can be fixed so i'm not worried about it but i was just happy to see that it actually worked so yeah, I just might have to try this method with something else. Hmm, we're gonna see how that works out. But yeah, so let me tone this with some purple shampoo, shimmer lights, and we're gonna see how it looks after it's So as you can see, I got this little scarf on or whatever the case may be. That's because I took my hair out. I washed it, and now, being that I'm not in New York no more, I used to go to my cousin and get my hair braided in Jersey. Like, she would treat my hair braided down real good, and I was just having it for months. And be like, oh my God, y'all, like, my hair is growing, like, whatever. And it did grow. It grew so long. My hair has never been so long in my life, okay? And it's still growing, of course. But we only got one problem. It's not thick at all. So right now, um, I am using this, uh, the Glam Room um growth oil and it's not sponsored that's just something i personally wanted to try myself so i kind of was on and off using it and i was using it when my braids was fresh probably about two three months ago but as soon as i couldn't see my scalp no more i just stopped i was like i feel like i'm putting matte oil in my hair ew i don't want to smell whatever so today i figured um well actually yesterday i was supposed to braid my hair because i didn't have my nails on i went to get my nails on yesterday so the day before, I was supposed to get, um, I took my nails off and everything like that so I could braid my hair down or whatever the case may be. Once I saw my hair out, don't get me wrong, I was a little sad because I'm like, oh my God, like my hair is like a good length, but it's just not thick. So it's just kind of pointless. It looks a little dumb. Like I'm going to enter some pictures and like old videos or whatever the case may be so y'all could have an idea. So if y'all got any tips, I ask y'all on Instagram and y'all give me a few tips. So if y'all know any tips and y'all want to comment down below, make sure y'all do that. Give me some tips for how to make my hair a little bit thicker. I think I got the length down pack as far as how to make my hair grow longer, which was just sitting it in the braids, not touching it, not doing anything to it for months. Literally, it would be just so dirty and that would just be that. But yeah, if y'all got any tips for me, let me know. So now, um, as much as I do want to braid my hair, I'm not going to braid my hair. I'm going to show y'all my hair real quick. And um, I guess, look, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to just probably um, do something real flat. My hair is 
I'm gonna just probably do something real flat and then just let it sit under my wig while I just care for my hair a little bit more. Maybe every two weeks or so I do like a regimen or something like that. I'm trying to switch up my whole thing, just the whole thing. So yeah, let's see. Let's 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 get this maintained. So I did have my hair wrapped and a little wrap. Remember we used to get the little wraps when we used to go um go get the blowouts from the Latinas. And that's what I'm feeling like right now. But I don't have a perm. I haven't had a perm in years. I literally, I haven't had a perm in years. So, um, yeah, I haven't even had my edges perm because I used to perm my edges um, for when I used to wear leave outs and stuff like that. But um, I haven't done it in a while. I do feel like my edges thin out a little bit. Um, I do want to see a picture of how my edges look before because I could have sworn my edges looked a little bit similar. But then again, I feel like they might have been like a little bit thicker. So I don't know. But um, yeah, so this is what my hair looking like right now. And I did wear it out yesterday. I let it breathe. But as y'all can see, <clears throat> it has some left to it. <coughs> I have some lump to it. So, for under the wig, I think I'm going to put a lot of oil on my edges. Not too, too much, obviously. But I'm going to put some oil on my edges. And then I am going to be switching out wigs probably um, very soon. So, what I'm going to wind up doing is um, just putting the cap on and sliding it back. But I am going to have to apply the glue very close to my hairline. So, I'm going to use this growth oil as like a barrier so it doesn't like grip too tight on my edges and it'll be easy to remove therefore it doesn't rip my edges out so let's do that y'all i gotta beat my face for this video i'm about to record and make this video so yeah y'all let's get this started But yeah, so I have no idea where I'm going with this look, but um, we're going to get this wig on real quick and then we're going to figure out what we got to do with this look.
perfect like it's still gonna all fold within the same space but I think if I curl uh, take the part like the baby hair part that I carved out and I part it in like maybe three parts and just curl them a little different maybe they might fall a little different because you know everybody's baby hairs are different so it's like I always try to think like not so typical baby hairs you know the one two three or the one two and even though I'm just doing the one two and it's gonna be simple I still wanted to have like a, I guess a sort of 3D look compared to having like a just super perfect look. And the hair is big and curly, like it's like okay, let's get into like a more tropical, more types of, you know, just want to get more tapped in with the uh, less perfect baby hairs. Because baby is baby hairs. Nobody's baby hairs are perfect. Some, if your baby is a perfect, God bless you, but mine's not. So we're going to try to create something and I don't know, let's just see how it comes out, who knows.
concealer and go down my part because I do feel like it's a little dark. And usually I use my um, RK by Kiss, but I think I'm going to use my LA Pogo concealer just because I want it to look a lot lighter. I was going to say big, but I want to look a lot lighter. So I'm about to go with that. And I'm honestly still trying to see if I want to wet my hair. but I started playing in my hair and I think I'm gonna leave it like this not only because y'all know I love my flip over but I'm trying to do an at home shoot and I have a really cool idea I don't know how I'm gonna do it but I have a really cool idea so I'm like maybe I need a little bit more action like I think that's what I was really gonna need so this is the final look this is how the hair looks I'm not gonna lie y'all that middle part was sleek I'm gonna enter some pictures I took a few pictures of how it looked initially it was real sleek but this is just giving more action and then I have my favorite hairstyle in the same thing so yeah I'm really excited and I can't wait to film the behind the scenes of this little home photo I'm about to do so if y'all like this hair tutorial make sure y'all comment down below and let me know your thoughts on this look once again I'm gonna do a close-up actually I'm not gonna do no close-up y'all just go out there and enjoy this little outro so thank you again for watching my video make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and I will see y'all my next video bye loves